Dobadan, guys. Dobadan. And welcome to a special episode. The return of the armored train to Europe. Now, during Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine, they actually fielded an armored train that I have some footage of. Behind me here is Croatia's armored train. So no, the last use of the armored train was not during World War II, but rather during the Yugoslav Wars, in specific the Croatian Homeland War. Now this was built in 1991 by workers from the split shipyard, who forged together a, you know, basic civilian train, two freight cars, and a locomotive a diesel electric locomotive now there's about about uh, this much I'm still doing my centimeter so about eh, five to ten centimeters of outside armor with the inside filled with eh, concrete or sand I'm not sure which exactly and then another layer of 15 centimeters of armor you can see here's a fuel tank you can see how thick the armor is on the outside right here. It actually still smells like fuel. Now, this was built as a response to the Serbian armored trains that they were using in battles near Bihać and other areas around there. Uh, the Serbian armored train was nicknamed the Krajanja Express. The European after the now obviously this train was much more heavily armored and actually involved in some pretty heavy fighting. The Croatian train actually was never in first hand combat. So we'll take a look inside the train here. Look, so this, these were civilian train, you know, converted, somebody's still using that toilet. It smells like it. You have your gun boards here. You know, where you would be able to fire out. Looks like Whatever. someone is crashing here at the night, so there is also like a bottle of water. Yeah, that's way up into the turret. Now these were two uh, ceiling mounted turrets on this, where they had 12.7 millimeter machine guns. We'll actually climb on top here in a bit, and I'll show you what it looks like up there. Well, let's go take a look up top. So there's a look at the turret. To the top of the train. So before I get kicked out of the train yard, I wanted to show you guys the locomotive from this angle because this thing is pretty badass looking. And here you can see where one of the 12.7 millimeter guns were. This thing actually still opens up. And right there it was mounted. So, a little bit more on the Serbian armored trains, which are much more heavily armored. Uh, now, the, the famous one, the Crania Express, actually had like a T-55 tank mounted on top of it. Um, also, multiple more carriages now this is three including the locomotive i believe that one had eight or nine from what we can see here you know obviously you weren't seeing out the front window but this is the actual civilian locomotive and to be able to see here you would look out the side through this gun portal slash you know vision portal <sighs> speedometer i think it actually says past 140 kilometers an hour which is you know about 100 miles an hour 
if you imagine this thing going that fast, I mean, obviously it wouldn't be able to go that fast. Not with all the added weight and whatnot, but that would be, you know, something to see. Old Yugoslav Bandad, I believe, with the face is scratched out for some reason. If you know more about this, you know, leave me a comment. Now that's cool. All these buttons are pretty intact. I'm surprised how intact this actual cockpit is. And the wires are all there. That's surprising. Huh. Now, if you're wondering why there's a well, like with such great shape it's in, why it's not a museum or a museum piece. Uh, you could ask that about a lot of things in Croatia. There's literally thousands of places that you could be like, oh, why not turn this into a museum? But uh, it's just, I won't get into it because I'd be explaining it for the next two hours, but there's this basically comes down to bureaucracy. Uh, everything still works. Now, Serbian trains, like I was saying, one was destroyed near Bosnia. And I have a picture of the monument that they turned it into, which is also abandoned. And the Crayon Express, at the end of the war, ended up in a ravine somewhere where they intentionally pushed it. I'm not sure if the wreckage is still there. It might be. But... That is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I do really appreciate you watching. You know, if you subscribe, I appreciate it even more. And until the next time. Uh, never mind. Vidimo se. And Slava Ukraine.